So you may have seen all the craziness that's going around with Wall Street bets and GameStop at the moment. And I just wanted to put my two cents in and why there is an issue with getting your stock tips from Reddit. Firstly, I think we should talk about how this all started in plain English so it's really easy to understand. But just remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just staying away from this as I think all of you should because this could get very messy. So basically, we have a fight between private and professional investors, and it's all over GameStop. GameStop has been a company that has been in decline over the last five years, as they have failed to keep up with the change in consumer behavior. People downloading games instead of buying hard copies. Professional investors therefore thought that GameStop was done for. The stock price was slowly sinking, and professional investors wanted to take advantage of this. So what they did was short the stock. Here is Margot Robbie in the bath to explain what that means. Sorry to disappoint lads. These pro investors opened a position by borrowing shares of GameStop that they believe will decrease in price by a certain future expiration date. The pro investors agree with the buyers that these borrowed shares can be bought at market price at this time. So if the price goes down, these pro investors make money. But then incoming Donald Trump on a rocket. A user on Wall Street bets who shall not be named, but let's call him Voldemort. That's much more acceptable in this day and age to say online. He believed that GameStop was fundamentally undervalued. So he decided to do the opposite of shorting the market, call options. A call option is where an investor, in this case, the private YOLO investor, believes that the GameStop price will go up by a certain time in the future, and if the price goes up, then the YOLO investor makes money. But not only this, Michael Burry, Christian Bell from The Big Short, believed this too. And he put a fair amount of capital into the GameStop stock. Another user then discovered that GameStop was the most shorted stock on the market. And if they played their cards right, then they could potentially use this fact to their advantage and make money and stick it to the man. So they did. They started buying up GameStop like crazy call options, regular trades, etc., etc., pushing up the price of GameStop. This then causes the professional investors to exit their short position and lose money at a rapid rate. But by exiting these positions, it causes the price of the stock to increase even more, therefore meaning the short sellers will have to sell and lose money, and the cycle continues. Big hedge funds have lost billions, while Voldemort apparently turned his 50K investment into 22 million dollars. Now this is nowhere near the end of the story, but this is the end of my one. So that intro is meant to be short, so apologies for that. I just wanted to get it right so that I didn't get murdered in the comments. Well, that still might come, but hopefully not. Hopefully we're all friends here. <laughs> so what is the problem with getting stock tips from Reddit? Well, obviously there is an issue with that in terms of you should know what you're investing in yourself and not just following someone blindly, which is always what I say on here. Just don't follow me blindly, don't follow people on Reddit blindly. You need to do your own research in order to invest into something. But obviously there is a whole different thing going along with this type of investment and what's happened with GameStop. While I do agree that the people that found this hack are actually quite intelligent and obviously have done their due diligence and done a very good job of it because they've managed to create a large amount of wealth for themselves and done it in a way that's taken the establishment down basically. However, I do think with any revolution that happens, there will be some casualties. And it usually is the people that revolt, not the people with the power. So the people that are in this Reddit group, the people that are following along, not the people that have lost lots of money with even more money to spare, so we do need to be very careful. And it's usually the people that don't really have a full idea of what's going on and are just following the crowd that tend to get hurt. And I do not think it will be pretty in any way, so please, please, please do be careful if you are involved in this in any way. Well, what happens now? Well, think about it this way. If you were the hedge fund manager and you're down at a golf club just playing some golf at the weekend, and you bump into your mate who works at the SEC, who obviously control the markets in America and regulate the market. Well, I just wonder what they'd be talking about. Would they be talking about how they shanked their first drive or they missed that one footer for birdie on the last hole? I don't think it'll be either of these. I think they'll be talking about how they lost billions or millions to GameStop and the people on the internet 
that wanted to take them down. And they'll be asking, what are the authorities gonna do about this? How are they gonna prevent this from happening in the future? And money talks, and it will be talking a lot over the weekend. Even Michael Burry has said this. If I put GameStop on your radar and you did well, I'm genuinely happy for you. However, what is going on now, there should be some legal and regulatory repercussions. This is unnatural, insane, and dangerous. So even the guy who has potentially made a fair bit of money from this happening is worried about what may happen next and the regulation that may be put in place. And I think the regulation will be pushed through as quickly as possible to prevent it happening in the future or at least deter it from happening in the near future. As the big companies have the power and they will not want to relinquish this. This I believe is definitely on the horizon and will prevent stuff like this happening again and hopefully protect people from taking advice from Reddit and the consequences that may be unintentional but may happen because of that. However, the issue now is what will actually happen to GameStop? Like, will it plummet? Will it drop it like it's hot? I personally think it probably will because people will want to lock in their gains and then it will just plummet. Or we may have some late adopters that come in and continue buying up GameStop until it reaches the moon. Who knows? Who knows? But for me, I will be staying away because I think it is too high risk. We don't really know what's gonna happen and there is a risk of losing a fair bit of money. And as a fairly risk averse person, I am staying away. I did actually get a GameStop free share from Free Trade back in September. So maybe I'm just a FOMO jealous investor, but I guess that's just for you to judge. Please, please, please be careful if you are invested and just think about what you're doing and the potential risk that it has. If you like the video, hit the like button. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm trying to help you become one. So 